financial education landscape is really quite fragmented at the moment. There's an awful lot of people who are doing really, really good work, um, but there is no long-term vision. So what we've um, decided to do as the TISA Financial Education Council is to try and find out both where we can have a position on the lobbying side, which will help to shape policy, but also where we can fill some of the gaps in education, in education and the execution of that. So firstly, um, on the lobbying side, there really is an important um, role to play in trying to get financial education in schools nationwide at all levels and life stages. And then secondly, while a lot is already being done in schools, we think that there's an opportunity to take some of the financial education into outside school channels. So that could be anything from a sports club to a community group, um, to social housing, a number of other areas where you can reinforce the same messages, but in a different environment and perhaps where you get the young people more engaged. And then thirdly, and with my other hat as a product provider on, we think that there's a really big opportunity to help to educate both the parents and carers of young people and the young people themselves via the products and services that they have. And that could be education perhaps through a bank account or a child trust fund or a junior ISA and really bringing the education into the points of touch that we have with um, the young person and with their parents so that that again uh, supplements what's done in school.